2020 was a crazy year, something that we haven't experienced before as an international community. It took a lot away from a lot of people, myself included. I had to cancel travel plans, I lost a job, and I couldn't even see my girlfriend for 12 months because she was working overseas in another country. But it also created a year of opportunity, especially for me here on YouTube, which is something I'm super grateful for. It didn't stop me living out my passions, and in a weird way, this may be one of my favorite years as a creator yet. This year gave me the time to double down on creating videos. It gave me that little extra push that I needed. And this year on YouTube, I put out 34 videos and then even more on other platforms. To some, that may not sound like much, but to me, it's something I'm pretty damn proud of. This year, I was able to share what I love doing with so many people, share travel experiences, allow people to embrace nature, show what I do behind the scenes as a wildlife photographer and videographer. I got to encounter incredible wildlife, visit beautiful destinations, and appreciate my own country in a way that I never have before. At the start of the year, I was still riding on the high from my 2019 travels and shared the last of my adventures through Africa and Asia, including going on safari, walking with Komodo dragons, jungle trekking with orangutans, river tubing, and volunteering in Malaysia. In March, I left for India, one of the craziest countries I've ever been to, and experienced the amazing holy festival, the Festival of Colour. During my trip to India, this is where things took a turn and I rushed back home as the pandemic started to take over the globe. From here, my goal was to create closer to home. I started making little videos at home, explored my own backyard, and even got to record my first podcast with my mate Corbin in the USA, proving that international relationships and collaboration were still possible. I mean, what was that like going to see them in the wild? When they make that eye contact, you're just like, Damn. As restrictions lessened, I explored more of my own state, heading down south to experience the aftermath of the Black Summer fires and see the amazing regenerative process the bush was going through. It's the power of nature to destroy, but also the power of nature to, to come back. I went camping in the middle of an Aussie winter and bumped into my fair share of wildlife, including these wombats that strangely call Kangaroo Valley their home. In one of my greatest wildlife encounters of all time, I got to get the infamous laser beam bird on film, also known as the superb liar bird. This footage was later featured in a documentary on the ABC called After the Fires. From here, I headed to the coast and spent some time with some beach-going kangaroos before I hopped into the freezing waters surrounding Montague Island to swim with fur seals. Not long after, Queensland opened up, and after a pretty sketchy crossing north into the state, I got to travel around and hang out with a couple of mates that I hadn't seen for a really long time. We worked on a couple of projects and visited some of my favourite spots including North Stradbroke Island and O'Reilly's Plateau. After heading back home from Queensland, I was stoked to collaborate with Nikon and Taronga Zoo, testing out Nikon's Z50 mirrorless camera on some pretty colourful and exotic subjects. At Taronga, I checked out some of their brand new exhibits and went behind the scenes to see what work is being done to save some of Australia's rarest species from extinction. Towards the end of the year, things got a little crazy again and I wasn't able to create as many new videos as I would have liked, but I was able to revisit some of my older travels and in doing so entered a competition with Jake Rich, which I amazingly won. First place is the India Colorfest hat story. You may 
have noticed I've been a little quiet since then. It's been about two months since I put a video out on YouTube, and the reason being the build up to 2021 has been pretty damn hectic. You may not recognize this new space, it's certainly pretty new for me as well, but long story short, my girlfriend has moved back from New Zealand, we've moved up to the Gold Coast, and that has been quite an ordeal. But now it's 2021, a new year, and my goal is to put out more videos and better videos than I ever have before. I'm gonna hit the beaten track, get back to nature, and as always, I'm super keen to take you guys along with me. Whatever your plans are for this year, no matter what it is you're doing, you can accomplish it. Think big, turn opportunities into outcomes, and turn dreams into realities. Thank you all for your ongoing support to this channel and what I do here. Each and every one of you is a dead set legend, and I can't wait to see what this next year holds. Thanks for letting me ramble on guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.